Hey man, welcome back to another video from Whale Jar 3D, bro. Where we're gonna teach you how to build cool cars, man, and awesome 3D software called Blender. In today's tutorial, bro, I'm gonna show you how to make a roll cage in a simple mod called Skin. Bro, what is a roll cage, dude? Well, when building high performance vehicles for motorsport, the builder will likely be following a rule book set by whatever motorsport they're entering. Most if not all governing bodies that host these events will state that the vehicle must have a roll cage fitted. This is obviously there to prevent injury and worst case, death from rolling over and being crushed. Usually, as a rule of thumb, if it has an aftermarket bucket seat and harnesses fitted, it needs a roll cage. This is because the harnesses pins you into your seat and if you roll over it, you'll easily break your neck. So if we were to model a race car, it's pretty much essential that a roll cage must be fitted. So let's model a roll cage. It's amazingly easy. So then, let's build a roll cage. So the first thing we'll need to do is some, add some vertices. So if we add, what I like to do is add a flat object, say a circle, like this. And then if we enter the... And here, we just select a few of them and press delete vertices. Yeah, so we've got like a line of vertices. Now, what we need to do is go over to the modifier and we need to generate a skin mod, this one here. And what it does is it fills it out like this. Now, obviously, it's square, we need it to be round, don't we? So, so if we had a subdivision surface now and then we crank it up to three, one, two, three, like that. You can see we've now got a pipe. Now we've got an error here as well, so if we just make it visible, we can see what the problem is here is this is a base bony and it shouldn't be. If we select the one on the end and then we go over to the modifier here, look, we can see we've got mark root. If we click that, that makes that like the first one that it'll extrude out of here. So now we have a pipe that we can play with. We never have to play with these settings again now. What we need to do is, if we bring up this menu here and press edit, I love these loop tools, They're in, it's in your add-ons, use them. What I like to do now is select all of them and then press G stretch. And it basically straightens them out for you. You've got yourself a piece of pipe. You can now start building a roll cage. So if we back out quickly, ooh, another, another tip, if you want to shade it smooth, because it's now being generated from this modifier, the shade smooth settings now over here. So if we click that one, we've got a nice smooth object. Should we put a metal on it as well while we're here? Bang some metallic on it, put it into shady mode so we can see it. And we've got ourselves a piece of metal. Uh, I'm a hot boy, so it's gonna be lacquered and painted. <laughs> yeah. What we could do with turning the roof, try not to make things too shiny, you know what I mean? You don't want them like all the way shiny. So now what we need to do is build a roll cage. So if we come up here and we move it across here like this, and we apply all transforms because did you see that the origin was there it needs to be in the middle because we want to use a mirror modifier now don't we so if we now select a mirror modifier i like to put this at the very top because it always creates errors otherwise what we can do now is mirror it all so if we go into here we've got all these vertices that we can play with now there's probably too many but we can see that this bar is quite fat so if we go up here because we can always apply the scale at the end you know what i mean what you need to do now is Select a vertice, bring it to the middle. You can see we now need to put clipping on, don't we? So if we put clipping on, press G, we've now got a mirrored object. So goes to say, just carry on, press GG to follow the line, or just press G to free move it, and start modeling yourself a lovely roll cage. How simple is that? Now, obviously we don't need any of these vertices, so what we can do is dissolve them and get rid of them, dissolve the vertices. But now we've got this structure, it's basically a dream to work with. So what we can do now is just, we, we obviously want a crossbar that's gonna go across here, don't we? So if we select this one and press Shift and D, you can see it duplicates that, that one. And, and what we need to do now is put it in its own layer. So if we press P, we can put it into its own layer, look, and it comes up down here. So if we back out, go into this one, and then go back into edit mode, select this, vertice but and what we need to do now is make sure we mark the root again because we're starting a fresh one aren't we so that when we press e to extrude we've got another bar haven't we yeah 
Now the next problem is we've got that mirror modifier on, aren't we? We don't want that this time. So if we quickly delete that, then we can move all the way over here. I pressed E by accident. Press. Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on here then? Gee. Move that down there. What is going on here? Oh my god. Right, uh, if we just delete. It's good that you're seeing these. So if we delete those vertices, there was obviously something going wrong there. Not to worry, it's it's really simple. This is why I like Skinify, it's very simple. It creates this lovely welded joint effect here. Because the edge is nice and round here, it never protrudes out the outside here. Because there is other ways of doing this with curves, but it's not suitable for a roll cage, I don't think. Because this complements how bending bars actually works. Like if I select this one here, this joint would likely be too much of a bend in the steel kind of thing so you'd actually want to like put another one in like this and then go G down to here kind of like <clears throat> blend it in like that because in motorsport they don't want too severe of a bend because it'll just compromise the strength of it so what they do is triangulate all these corners and that's effectively what we're doing here isn't it so if you go back out now we've got this crossbar you can obviously just Duplicate that again, Shift D. If we go into here, select them all, rotate it, we can just move it like that. And it's pretty much fell in place, lovely. What I like to do is just go in on the edges, just slightly bring them in so that you get that lovely join there. You know what I mean? Like this one could probably go up. What I like to do as well, hot tip, is I like to have this mode on, the object moving mode. So you have these little handles. I love this mode. So it drives me nuts taking my eye off the screen to look for the button on the keyboard. So hot tip for you. And if you want to edit them all at once, just select them all, press tab, and then you can actually get at them. You know what I mean? Saves you doing that. And then like just bring them out so that they have this lovely join. The, the middles come out perfect. So we're doing well at the minute. We can see that we need all of those to be rotated. So if you select all, rotate on the X, 90, press enter. Bring them up with G and Z. And there you go. You can see we've got a beginning of a roll cage, haven't we? So obviously what we need to do now is we need to Shift D, duplicate another one. And if you press the right button, it'll put it back. And then we need to obviously put it in its own selection again. So if we're back out, select that one, go in, click this one, mark as a root. And then if we press E to extrude it, but before we do that, <laughs> we'll go in the side menu and just bring it down so it's nice and even, you know what I mean? Correct this one, bring it in, nudge it forward. It needs to come up a bit, doesn't it? Like there. And you've got yourself what looks like an amazing roll cage. Look at that. It looks so good. It just looks so damn good. Generate a mirror on it. And that's it basically you've got your a roll cage probably want to put another bar across here so that you can you want another bar across here for your like seat belts don't you and this is basically how a roll cage works it'll go to the rear chassis mounts and this will go in like the center of the car where the like the b pillar is and it just strengthens the car doesn't it, it stops it from squashing basically you have door bars well i'm not going to waste your time that is basically it using the skin mod it's a joy to make scaffolding if you notice the intro as well, with that car I showed you, I went to town making a cage once I learned this. It's such a good tip. You need to learn this one because it will just improve your models now. And so let me quickly just put some base plates on here because it's kind of bugging me. And there you have it. You've basically got yourself a lovely roll cage that will fit inside a car because it doesn't need to be too mega. You know what I mean? You're not going to see most of it half at the time, but you do need it in there. You know what I mean? I think this is an amazing tip. It's so good. If you like this video, obviously like it, share it, whatever. The next video, I'm going to show you how to make an exhaust using the curve method. Because that is also an epic tool to be needed to learn. You know what I mean? So, otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.